Hi, my name is Bogunia and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So my next piece of equipment is this Scan Master and you're probably wondering what it is. Well, I'll turn it around and it's got some information on the back here. It's called the Scan Master Petite Extra Plus and it is 240 volts, 50 hertz, 24 watts, 95 milliamps rated current, made to British standards. Now, some of you may guess what this is uh, when I turn it on and uh, I've got a little switch over here. So we'll turn that on and get a little bit of humming after a while. And down the bottom, uh, when it's on, this is a compact fluorescent. And on the underside, we have a UV bulb. Okay, and it actually looks black, deep blue to me, but the CCD on this Logitech 910C is actually picking up the purple. It looks very similar, actually, to the so-called blue laser, which is actually a violet color. So this is actually, I guess, a violet color that we're seeing there, but we'll know in a little while when we do the spectrum. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you what happens when I put a note under it. This is exactly what this is for, and it allows you, and you actually can't see it because it's too bright, but uh, uh, basically it's to show you uh, the watermark there. You can see if I pull it away, and uh, uh, I don't know if you can see over here, but there's a, there's a UV piece under here on, on this corner here. So it's to show whether notes are fake, and uh, you would have this in a shop to look at, I guess, high value currencies. There's actually another UV mark up here, but the, the webcam's not picking it up very well. Anyway, that's what it's for. It's a 500 crown note. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to mask off this um, compact fluorescent at the bottom here because we don't want to be looking at that. Uh, so I'm just going to use this piece of foil tape and some masking tape here. And um, I'm then going to flip this over and onto the UV bulb here. I'm going to attach the um, light guide here for the... Uh, this is all, all very approximate, um, but it should, it should do the job. And that's what we are finding. There's a very simple gland that I built here, like that. Now, if we switch that across to here, you can see our spectrum. That's our thing that we just thrown under there, We're getting it more into shot. And you can see very nicely, actually, uh, over here, th this is actually in the blue. So this is probably uh, the blue that you're seeing uh, over here, uh, this kind of blue that you're seeing here. But by the way, as I said, this whole thing looks like it is uh, a black light, a, a UV light you might have in a nightclub, for instance. Um, and you can't see what you're seeing on camera here, which is this kind of violet color. Um, but you can definitely see that violet is there, both with this line and this line in the live spectrum. But this is the range that's going into the ultraviolet. And this is quite good because it does show here that this Spectrix USB Biz 1000 does show some UV. And over here at the other end, you can see that there's some heat being created. Uh, and uh, we've got a, a spike here, which uh, is beyond the visible red, and another one over here. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, we're only at 800 or so here, so I'm going to up the integration time so that it gets a cleaner signal. You can see now I'm still, I'm over peaking there. So I don't, I don't want to break this line here. Okay, I want to get that under 8,000 so that we see the full dynamic range. So I'm gonna pull that down a bit. I've done it over too much now. So up here, so we're still under 8,000 now. I'm gonna peak it up a bit, maybe one more. 120 milliseconds integration time, maybe 130. Yeah, so I've got this peak under the clipping of 8,000. That shows our maximum peak variation there. And I'm going to ch change the time average so that um, it's getting a, a 
clean a sample. So I put that on 35. And we'll see if it gets up to around about just under the 8,000 mark again. It's creeping up, it's creeping up, it's creeping up. Is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? Yes. Okay, so that's nice. So this is an average of more samples. And you can see it's really nice, nicely into the UV down here. Uh, this is obviously the violet that you're seeing. Um, there's some kind of red at the far end, and that might be what you're seeing on the webcam, because webcams are normally quite sensitive to uh, infrared. And so that might be what you're actually seeing. And the, the infrared is mixing with the violet and giving it that, that sort of uh, pinky, mauvey color, which you can't see with your eyes. Um, and that's due to the actual sensitivity of the eyes, actually. So we, there's a conflict between what I'm saying I can see with my eyes and what a webcam can see because they're different imaging devices. And then up here, we're seeing something that's in the infrared. And this is good because we can see that it goes well beyond uh, the visible spectrum. So there we have it. I'm going to do a catch on that spectrum so that I can graph it for you.